Hey guys, welcome to my 39 week bump date. I was hoping I wouldn't be able to make a 39 week bump date because I already have a baby, but alas, here I am still pregnant. So let's just get into things. Baby is the size of a mini watermelon and I feel that. It says baby's about seven and a half pounds, about 19 inches. So it'll be very interesting to see when she comes out how big she is. I think she'll be the smallest of my babies. My first baby was seven pounds, 15 ounces, and that was a week overdue. My second was eight pounds, three ounces, and that was like five days overdue. So I'm thinking she's gonna be somewhere in the sevens, so we'll see. This week, not really much is going on with baby. She's building a layer of fat to control her temperature after birth. And she also has a firm grasp now. So 39 weeks means that I am officially full term. Baby can come anytime now, which is great, but then it's also like, get out. <laughs> I will update you all on what's been going on because there's been a lot. And if you've been watching my regular vlogs, you'll kind of know what's going on. But if you only watch these update vlogs, then you'll have no idea what's going on. So I'll do that update first and then I'll get into my symptoms, which really isn't that much. If you remember my vlog last week where I was 38 weeks, I complained like that whole vlog because I was disappointed and I wasn't going to get induced and when I wanted to, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward to this week, it was Monday. I was actually at the library with my youngest son and I got a phone call from my doctor and they called me to let me know that they put me on the wait list at the hospital starting on Thursday, which I was ecstatic about. Wasn't Wednesday like I wanted it to be, but it wasn't Friday like they had originally told me. It was in the middle, so I felt like that was a good compromise, I guess. So today is Wednesday. I am 39 weeks exactly today. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow I start on the wait list. So basically they told me over the phone is if the hospital has an open bed and no one to fill it, then they go to the wait list. I don't know where I am on that wait list, but they start calling people on the wait list and I think they say you would get a call around 9 a.m. if they have room for you and then they'll tell you when they want you to come in to get induced. If they don't have room for you, then you just won't get a call and then you'll just get bumped to the next day, which would be Friday and then the whole thing would start over again. Kind of a little annoying because every day you're just kind of like waiting by the phone, waiting to see if they're gonna have spot a spot for you or not. But I feel grateful that I'm even given this chance to be on a wait list because at 39 weeks, this is an elective induction. I technically don't have any medical reason to be induced other than the fact that I had a really fast labor last time and I don't really wanna go through that trauma again. I don't think that really counts that much. So because it's elective, that's why I'm put on a wait list because there's people with actual medical reasons that need to go before me. And I totally understand that, but that means that starting tomorrow, I'll be 39 weeks in one day, I might be able to get induced at the hospital. So I'm hoping and praying and please send me good vibes that I do get that phone call tomorrow morning and that I'm able to go into the hospital and have this baby and be done. So we will see, I was super excited about that. I, I didn't even know that they were gonna call me and tell me that, so I was so excited about that. Then yesterday was Tuesday and I had my 30, I don't really know what it was, 38 week doctor's appointment because technically I was 38 weeks, I guess. I don't know. I had my next doctor's appointment. So I went in, I did the urine sample, all the good stuff. They took my weight. I have not gained a pound. I'm 150 with like all my clothes on and stuff, but like without, it, I think I'm like 148 or something. So I'm like a little over 20 pounds gained overall. I think with my second pregnancy, I got all the way up to like 153. I don't think I'm gonna get up to there. Probably cause she's tiny, cause she's a girl. Anyway, 
did that they took my blood pressure it was a little elevated it was like 132 over 70 but they said it wasn't too concerning yet now remember my doctor is on vacation this week and so i had to go and meet with a nurse practitioner which i had never done before so i was kind of curious on how that was gonna go so i ended up meeting her she was super nice I actually really liked her she was like very detailed in all of my stuff just trying to go over my history i had to catch her up <laughs> with everything going on because she like this was the first time I was meeting her and I'm at the end of my pregnancy. So she was super nice. The only bad thing about her was I had so many questions about how this wait list thing works. Like I wanted to know like how likely am I gonna get a call? Uh, what exactly are they ca calling at 9 a.m.? I think that's what I heard, but I wasn't sure. And I wanted to ask her like, what does that mean when they call? Like, are, do they tell you a specific time or is it just whenever? And so I went in having all these questions and she had like, like no answers for me <laughs> like I don't know if she didn't know or didn't want to say cause she's not my doctor I'm not sure but she had no answers so she made it sound like it was very up in the air as to even if I was gonna get a call or not she told me to make another doctor's appointment for next week just in case I don't get called in which I'm bummed about I did not want to have to do that so she measured my belly um, she said baby still head down, which is good. She said it does seem like baby has dropped a little bit. Baby seems lower, which I think so too. I, I thought I was feeling that as well. And then found the heartbeat. She didn't tell me what the how fast it was going, but we listened to it for a, a long time. So that was good. And baby was moving like crazy, as she always is. And then uh, she asked if I wanted to get checked, and I did because I was so curious because I've been doing everything under the sun to try to get this baby out of me, walking, raspberry leaf tea, bouncing on the ball, eating dates, like you name it, I've been trying to do it. And so she checked me and she said, I'm still only one centimeter dilated. I've made like no progress that whole week of me doing something every day, all day didn't matter because my body's not responding at all to my natural ways, which is very, very true to my body and just my body just doesn't like to give up babies early. So that was super disappointing to hear about that. She told me I was 30 to 50% effaced or thinned or whatever. I guess that's good, I don't really know. That was kind of disappointing. She contemplated giving me a membrane sweep, which I would have been up for, I mean, anything to try to get this baby out. But she told me she didn't want to because she was worried with how fast I went with my last labor. I mean, I literally almost had him in the car. That she didn't want that to happen again. So she didn't give me a membrane sweep, which I wonder if that's why I haven't got one. Like the past couple times I've been checked because I think you only have to be one centimeter dilated to get a membrane sweep but I think they're worried that like if they give it to me then I'm gonna like have the baby at my house or something so that was disappointing as well she didn't really give me good vibes <laughs> on whether I was gonna get called into the hospital tomorrow I I hope that I do and she said she you know, cross her fingers for me. She basically told me they only get to people on the wait list if the people who are set to be induced go into labor on their own and then don't need to be induced anymore. So I have to hope that one, there's not a lot of pregnant people right now, or two, all the pregnant people go into labor on their own and there's lots of spots open for me to get into the hospital. So we will see. That's kind of the update on there. I did make another doctor's appointment for next Monday. So I'll be 39 weeks and like five days. So, and my doctor will be back. So if I don't get a call Thursday or Friday or Monday, then I will go into my doctor's office and then we'll probably set like a for sure induction, probably like on my due date or something like that, which would be a week from today. So that's the update I have. Kind of emotions are all over. I'm feeling a little more hopeful than last week, but still up in the air. So that's what a lot of the end of this pregnancy has been, I feel like it's just up in the air. Appointment aside, how I'm doing, I am doing okay. I feel huge. I've been really out of breath lately. 
don't know why, I was like walking around Target with my son yesterday and just walking around like I had to like take deep breaths like I was getting lightheaded and just it's really hard for me to take deep breaths. So she must not have dropped like super much because I'm still having issues like getting a deep breath. I'm still being hit with pregnancy insomnia. I wanna say it happens every other day or every two days. I just wake up in the middle of the night and I just can't go back to sleep, which makes me very tired the next day, but it is what it is. I really have not been hit with pregnancy insomnia on my first two pregnancies, so this one has just been a wild ride. Also, I'm still having a lot of anxiety around baby being okay. If I haven't felt her in a while or I can't remember the last time I feel her, I freak out. I'll wake up in the middle of the night to pee and I won't feel her and I'll freak out and then of course she'll start moving later on, but I don't know why, I've just been like, very anxious about her well-being and I don't know if that's because I go on social media and I hear about people losing their babies late in pregnancy and I'm like that could be me or if it's just the pregnancy affecting my emotions this way I definitely did not have this anxiety with my first two pregnancies so I'm not really sure where this is coming from but it's something that I struggle with daily I've been very thirsty drinking all the time peeing all the time of course I wake up, well, it used to be about two times a night. Lately, I've been getting away with once a night. Usually I'll make it till four or 5 a.m. So that's actually not too bad. Like I said earlier, I've been doing everything under the sun to try to get baby to come. I bounce on my bouncy ball every evening once the boys are in bed and I don't have to fight over the bouncy ball with them. <laughs> I drink a cup of raspberry leaf tea every evening. I've been doing pumping and nipple stimulation, which I have been able to collect some colostrum, so that's been exciting, but really doesn't do anything. I've been walking. It's The weather's been hot and cold. Some days are good, some days are horrible, so when I can walk, I do, and I definitely get Braxton Hicks when I walk, um, so I feel like that's the most effective thing so far, but obviously none of these are really doing anything because I'm still only one centimeter dilated. Baby moves around a lot. She gets hiccups constantly, all the time still. Um, she likes to kick my bladder a ton and it hurts, ugh. But yeah, she's doing fine, she's doing well. I'm still dealing with like the after effects of this cold that I caught from my kids. My throat and everything feels fine. I just have like runny, stuffy nose all the time. So that's not been fun to deal with. I'm still getting heartburn. Some days are better than others. I definitely have to take it at night right before I go to sleep because for some reason lying in the lay down position, it just activates my heartburn so, so bad. My husband finished packing his part of the hospital bag. So we've got clothes for him, clothes for me. We basically have everything we need other than last minute items, which would be toothbrush, toothpaste, you know, things like that. But other than that, we're basically ready to go. I've packed my kids' suitcases because they're gonna spend a couple nights with my parents while we're at the hospital. Um, today, I've just been trying to get everything ready, just trying to assume that tomorrow is the day I'm gonna be induced. So I've been doing laundry, I've been cleaning the countertops, cleaning the floors. I need to clean like the downstairs bathroom. Um, I went and got groceries yesterday, so we're all stocked. So I'm just trying to get as much done as I can now because I know I'm not gonna wanna do anything um, once the baby comes. My back pain comes and goes. Um, I still wear the belly band at night and it seems to help, but my back really hurts when I bounce on the bouncy ball, so I usually can't bounce for too long. I'm really just over it. <laughs> I'm over being pregnant. It feels like I've been pregnant for forever. I don't know why, but this third pregnancy has felt like it has lasted the longest, even though I'll probably end up having her the shortest amount of time compared to my other two pregnancies. It just feels like I've been pregnant forever. I mean, I guess since July and it's what, March? I don't know why, it just feels like it's taken forever. My body is just aching like little things here and there. My belly's huge, it's itchy, my clothes aren't fitting, even like maternity shirts are getting like too tight. Pajama shirts, I can't find any that fit. They all are 
too small. And then just like the anticipation of it, like I'm just tired of not knowing when it's gonna happen. I just wanna be over, I wanna see her, I wanna meet her and just like start life with her, you know? So I'm ready for it to be done. I'm hoping tomorrow is the day, and if not tomorrow, I hope Friday is the day. I hope she can be a March baby. I hope, hope, hope. If she doesn't come Thursday, Friday, then um, she's gonna be an April baby, and it is what it is. So we will see how it goes. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. This might be, hopefully will be, my last pregnancy update video. I don't think I'm gonna make it to 40 weeks. Um, my hope is that I get induced before then. So we will see how that goes. Um, before I go, I did want to show you guys one last belly shot. So let me show you. Okay, so here is my belly at 39 weeks. Huge. I mean, like, I have this maternity shirt and it, like, doesn't even wrap the whole way around anymore because my belly is so huge. So there it is. I'm over it. I'm done. She can come out now. But that's going to be it for 39 weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these bump date updates that I've had. Make sure to stay tuned. I'm hoping to get a birth vlog out there, at least some type of video. Especially if I end up being induced, I feel like I'll get a lot more footage than like compared to the craziness of my last labor where it was like 20 minutes and I didn't even have a thought to take out the camera. So definitely stay tuned for the next couple videos. You'll get to learn her name and see what she looks like and um, the boys meeting her and all that good stuff. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. You're not going to want to miss it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.